morning good morning thank you for joining me for 11s is with hells here on creative crafting world tv welcome everybody i hope that you're all having a really good day and i have got some superb deals for you and i'm going to start off with a little bit of housekeeping so if you do want to place any orders from any of the products that you see that i'm showing you today then head on over to our website which is www creativecraftingworld.co.uk and on there there's a special little section that you'll see called Creative Crafting World TV. Click on that tab and then you'll be able to see everything that I'm showing you today. Also, while I've got your attention, if you also have a look on the website, if you're not already a member of our club, then you can go join our club for £10 a year. You'll get a free gift when you join and then you'll also get discount from all your orders. All of the details are on the website because we've just revamped the club. We've now got a gem system. So the percentages that you receive depends on how many gems you've got. So head on over there, have a look. Also, payment options are all on the website, including Klarna, if you do want to use that. Okay, and finally, don't forget to subscribe to here to our YouTube channel. Just click subscribe and then tap the little bell. That's actually then going to remind you on the device that you've subscribed on that we're going live, so you're not going to miss out on any of our shows. So what have I got for you today? I've got some fabulous deals. You might have seen on our socials that we've been talking about the shades of pads, and we've actually got buy one get two free yes you heard it right you're going to buy one pad you're going to get two free there are three different options i'm going to talk you through each of the options to start off with we have got black and white so the shades of pads are eight by eight in size they are 160 gsm and they're from the paper boutique so you know that the quality and the style that you're going to be receiving is going to be exemplary and i'm going to start off with the Shades of Black and White Project Pad. Now, your project pad has also got 36 sheets. You've got six designs of each. And what I want to do is run through. So you're going to find that these designs are echoed through the craft option and also through the purple option. So if you like what you're seeing and you want to jump ahead on the website to order those, then you can do that. Starting off with the first page here. So you'll see that we've got these gorgeous tags and we've also got these fishtail banners. You've got extra little sentiment areas here. So you've got dreams, so much fun together. But you've also got your little panels which you could stamp on. You could cut these out and add them on there with 3D foam if you wanted to. And you've got six each of these. So if you're wanting to make memory books, perfect for those. Also for scrapbooking, but I absolutely love these for card making all straight lines so really easy to cut out as well so that's your first page the next page this is just asking to go on the front of an 8x8 card isn't it or this could be an 8x8 scrapbook page or if you're making a brag book in 8x8 size or fold it in half you'll see you've got this gorgeous graph paper background and then you've got the beautiful butterflies and the butterflies run throughout this collection Next page, we've got two smaller areas here which you could stamp in. You could add sentiments to. You could also add photographs to these as well. And all the words here, look at this. We've got mum, dad, brother, best friend, sister, couple, in-law, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, mister, missus, and you've got an ampersand. Husband, grandma, granddad, nan, grandpa, uncle, auntie, cousin, baby and lovely. So all of these, again, have got straight lines around them, so really easy to cut out. Then congratulations, happy birthday, on your special day, and then with lots of love. So that's the second page. The third page has now got these. So you've got goals, ideas to do. You've also got these little cartouches where you could add your little photo in there. You've got that extra little butterfly, so that could be an extra embellishment. And also your film strip as well. 
Next page, one of my absolute favourites, you've got these beautiful florals in the corners, but in the background, can you see this print here? This is a beautiful soft print and it says smile, lovely, beautiful days, imagine, happy times, making memories. And that's in like an old fashioned typewriter font. So the next page we've got your alphas. So here you've got your black and your white alphabet. You've also got your numbers and your um, extra little bits, exclamation mark, question mark, and your hashtag. Then you've got some extra borders. So you've got a stripy border there, you've got the floral, and you've got the butterfly. And behind the butterfly, there's actually a little bit of music paper. It's like a little bit of collage going on on that one. And back to the beginning. So that is your project pad in the black and white. And like I said, in the craft and in the purple, the designs are the same, but just different colorways. So let's have a look at the next pad. So if you buy that one, you're getting this one free and the next one free. So black and white, you're gonna need some colored paper, aren't you? So here we've got, again, eight by eight in size, 160 GSM and you've got 36 sheets, six designs, or six colors in this case, six of each. So you've got your dark black, then you've got your mid black, dark gray, your light gray, your mid gray, and then you've also got that beautiful soft dove gray. Now with this, these are printed. So this ink has been printed on here, so it's got a white background. That's fabulous because what that means is you can go in and sand away the edges or because it's 160 GSM, if you wanted to bob that through your embossing folder and take a sanding pad in, you could do just to remove some of that ink. So that is your coloured card. And then finally, you're gonna need some pretty papers. So here we've got the decorative papers. And again, 36 sheets, you've got 12 designs here. So you've got three of each, 160 GSM. And all of these papers are acid and lignin free. So if you are wanting to do any of your mini books or scrapbooking and add photographs, you know that they're gonna be safe. They're not gonna be affected by the contents of the paper. First page, that beautiful floral that you saw on the previous one that I showed you, that eight by eight, here it's been reduced in size. Then this is probably one of my most favorite papers because whilst it's gorgeous, it's got making memories, smile, lovely, beautiful. You can actually go in and cut down in between so you can make your own little word strips as well. Then we've got the butterflies and I've been going in and cutting these out. So I'm using these as embellishments as well as the beautiful background paper. Then you've got your scribble scallops and these look like a little bit like roof tiles. So I think a really cool idea is if, you, if you've got any of those altered projects that you're wanting to do, where you're wanting to make little houses, you could actually go in and cut around so you'd have like a scalloped edge. You could make some ruffles with that one. Then we've got these beautiful leaves, so quite a tropical feel with this one. And they've got that lovely scribble effect as well. Then this one is the night sky, isn't it? Look at that beautiful mid gray and then the little paint speckles on it. A really, really special paper that one is. And then we've got our little dots. So this is like um, probably a cheetah, maybe, a little animal with spots or a very busy Dalmatian, it could be, couldn't it? Then we've got the scruffy stripes. So this one's strobing a lot. So I'm gonna try and keep it really still because we're starting off with thicker and then it goes to thinner and then it comes back to thicker again. But you've got the rough idea what that one looks like. Then we've got the little polka florals here. So you've got your little, they're like little forget-me-nots on that beautiful gray background. Then the graph paper. And again, this has got that distressed feel to it. So there's little areas where the print is slightly lifted. So it's got that antique look to it. Then you've got your stripes. This reminds me of the register when I was at school because my one of my form teachers, beautiful handwriting. When you were there in the morning, she'd do a line that way. And when you were there in the afternoon, she'd do a line that way. And right the way across the register, it always looked like that. And I'm sounding really old now, apologies. And then we've got the beautiful bows. And again, these are the right size that if you wanted to, you could go in and cut them out. You could turn these into little embellishments. So that is our black and white collection. Now, what I'm gonna do is have a quick look and see who we've got with us today and say hello. So we've got Marion. Morning, Marion. How was your corned beef hash? Was it lush? Then we've got Sarah. Hi, Sarah. We've got Darkest Dragon. 
Viv, hi Viv, nice to see you, Brenda. Brenda, you found us, good, because Brenda had actually been on our social media earlier and said she couldn't find us, so I'm glad you found us. And I actually told you something technical and you found it and it worked, so that's, hooray, that's a good day, isn't it? Then we've got Helen, morning Helen, Cornwall calling, hope you're okay, Pamela. We've also got Marie and Jane as well has joined us. So thank you everyone for joining us. Question of the day today is, what are you doing this weekend? Have you got any crafty projects on the go? Have you got anything special that you're going to be doing? Are you going to have a nice meal on Sunday? Do tell, because as you know, I'm nosy. Right, shall we look at the craft option? Um, again, this is another one of my favourites. Uh, anything that's craft is always going to be close to my heart because you can then add your own colours to it. But this is your project pad to start off with. Again, 8x8 eight eight in size. You've got 160 GSM, 36 sheets, six designs, and then you've got six of each. I'll go through this a little bit more quickly than I did with the black and white, but you've got the idea there. You've got all those beautiful words and your panels. You've also got the tags, and you can see that they actually look like they've got the reinforcers on them already, so you just need to punch the hole through. And you've also got those beautiful little banners as well. Next page is that gorgeous graph paper. Again, just need a photograph in the middle. Imagine if you're doing a book for someone who's just got engaged or just got married, add the photo in there. You've also got all of your words, which I'm going to come to in a moment. Here we are. So then you could add those words. So it could be Mr. and Mrs. They just got married, but it could be also something that you're doing for yourself. So you could add husband and wife on there. Next up, we've got the goals, ideas and to do page. And here, another perfect one for your memory books. These could be your little slot in um, additions to any of your wallets that you're making. Beautiful florals, as I've shown you previously. Again, with that gorgeous text font on there, which is like the old typewriter. Then the alphas with the borders there. And then back to the beginning on that one. So that is your craft project pad. Next up, of course, you're going to need some craft solid paper. So here we've got your coloured card. So again, eight by eight in size. You've got six colours, which you can see here. And you've got six of each. So starting off with this darkest craft. Next up, we've got the mid. And you'll see that this has got a little texture to it. It's beautifully smooth, but it does look really, really gorgeous and textured. Next up, we've got that paler colour. Then smooth finish. So if you don't want that craft look, but you want those lovely colours, you've got these. And I'm actually just going to bob these together like that so you can see how those colours work. So you've got that lovely soft cream, you've got the beige, and then, the, then you've got that dark and mushroom colour. So those are your solids. And finally, in your craft collection, we've got the decorative papers. So while I flick through these, I'm just going to remind you that with these, you are buying one and getting two free. There are three options. There's the black and white, the craft that I'm showing you at the moment, and then I'm going to show you the purple one. So on our website, which is www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk, in the little section that's labelled Creative Crafting World TV, hop on there and it's actually going to show you all of those gorgeous collections that you can get your hands on and remember they are buy one get two free normally £23.97 today £7.99 but if you're in our club or you're a club member 10% off that means it's £7.19 so those are the craft and then finally I'm going to show you the purple and again it's those same designs and those beautiful colours. The purple one is absolutely lush. Look at these colours. But there's nothing to stop you from using purple if you've decided to have a proper crafty treat. Purple and black work really well together and then you could also use the purple and the craft together as well. So if you did want to get them, they all are really cohesive, work perfectly together as well. So let's just keep going through this one. Again, eight by eight in size. And if you have just joined us, you can order on the website and there is a special section which has got all of today's deals on it. 
there we go that's the back to the beginning on the purples then we'll just have a quick look at the solid colors in the purple and again you can see all of these colors here and then we have got the decorative papers as well so let's have a little look at some of the questions that we've got coming in who've we got we have got oh morning graham thank you i've got blow me a kiss um marion's having oh smoked bacon and smoked bacon quiche and salad lovely um morning pamela you're going to see your sister on sunday for 85th birthday Oh, that's going to be, what a reunion that's going to be. You've not seen them since the pandemic started. Um, Lisa, good morning. Annie, good morning. Hi, with the buy one, get two free, it's the same pack. No, Annie, it's not. I'll do a quick recap, shall I? So we've got three options. You've got the black and white, you've got the craft, and you have got the purple. And this is the bundle that you're going to get. So you've got the project pad, you've got the solid papers, and then you've got your decorative papers. So that is the collection. You're only gonna pay for one of them. Normally, these are 23.97 for the collection. What we've done today is we've put it on a special offer. It's 7.99 for the whole collection. So you're buying one and you're actually getting the other two for nothing. If you haven't already joined our club, then do join our club because there are benefits there. You can get up to 20% off if you're a diamond member but we actually start off on the sapphire which is 10% so and I know that a lot of you are already getting up towards the diamond so it's a gem system we've just recently revamped it so the club is 10 pounds if you do want to join that it's worth doing it because you'll actually save some money also your postage and packing is actually applied at checkout if, however, you've decided that you're going to have a little crafty tree and you've spent over £25, the postage and packing is free. Shall we do a demo? I think we should do a demo. I'm going to start off with the black and white because black and white, close to my heart. I do love a bit of black and white with a pop of colour. And I've got one of our small cards here. This is a 6x4 card. That's the other thing that I need to tell you as well. All of our cards and envelope packs are also on offer on the website. So don't forget to check those out as well because you can also bag yourself a bargain with those. Right, shall we start off with, this has all been cut out so it's going to be a nice quick one. I've cut the darkest of that black colour and I've cut that one down so this is going to be my first mat. And I'm just going to add a little bit of tape to the back and then pop that one on there like that and what I've done is cut it slightly smaller than the base card so can you see I've got that little gap all the way around the edge which is just giving me a nice little frame right who else have we got coming in we've got um right Annie I hope that answered your question uh Caroline you found out how to chat lovely um who else have we got? We've got Darkest Dragon will be sample making this weekend. Shush, it's a secret. Oh, he is a tease, isn't he, our Kevin? Jane has got a craft fair on Sunday with cards that, oh, brilliant. Cards made from us, from all the stuff that you've bought. Um, Sharon, sorry, you're back on beans on toast. Carolyn, receive my lucky 13 dies today. Oh, that's fabulous. They are gorgeous, aren't they? And then Annie, thank you, we'll add to my basket. Whoop, whoop, just join the club. Thank you, Annie. And again, thank you everybody for joining me for 11s is with Hells. Now, make a note. Have you got a pencil? Because I need you to make a note of this. Next Wednesday, 11s is with Hells is not happening. However, Twosies with Hells is happening because I'm actually going to be here a little bit later. So normally we're here at 11. I'm actually going to be here at 2 next Wednesday. So make a note of that. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. It'll tell you, won't it? It'll actually say. It'll give you a little ding-dong notification. Right, so what I've got here is some of those gorgeous patterned papers. And what I've done is I've cut them down so they're going to make like an overlap, so it's going to be different at the top and the bottom. So that one's going to go there, so I'll stick the bottom one down first. And then I've cut the top one and it's that gorgeous grid that we've got. So again, just a little bit of tape on the back. And you can see how this card is now starting to come together. These, they're just such lovely contemporary designs, 
really, really easy to use. I love having pads like this when everything matches together because sometimes, you know, when you're crafting and your mojo goes on holiday and I know it happens to all of us and you're thinking, well, what am I going to make? I can't think what to make. It's nice when you've got pads like this because it whets the appetite. Now, I have put pictures of the samples that I've made onto our social media. So if you're on Facebook and you haven't already joined, we've got a Creative Crafting World TV page on Facebook. It's a little group. So if you join that, all of the samples will be on there. So if you do want to use those as a little reference so you could actually copy them, give yourself some little ideas, I'm more than happy for you to do that. And also, if you haven't already joined Creative Friends, which is our little fan group for all things Creative Crafting World and our Linda Chapman, then also that's on Facebook as well. So let's place that one across there. So I've made a little banner and that's just covering up that middle bit. So it now looks like this is actually one complete piece of paper. And then what I've done, remember what I was saying about that beautiful paper? Let me just grab it from here so I can show you. This is the page, there we are. So here we've got making memories, smile, lovely, beautiful days. What I've done is I've taken my paper trimmer and I've cut a strip and then I've gone in with my scissors and made a little fishtail for it. So it's a little fishtail banner. And then I've cut some strips of the colored card that I used here for my mats and layers. And then what I can do is go in with my scissors and actually make these into a little banner. So just a little bit of glue, which I'm going to place on there. And the reason why I'm using glue this time and not the tape runner is because the tape runner is too thick. So I'd end up getting all gummy and there'd be tape all over the place where I don't want it to be. So here we go. Excuse me if I'm a bit croaky. I have got a bit of a lurgy. I have been tested. I haven't got that lurgy, that we, the lurgy we no longer talk about. It's just a cold. And then I've got the pale grey one there, like so. And again, just go in with the scissors and give that a little snip. So it's nice to add these little shapes. It's like adding that little bit of extra dimension for the eye to look at. So you can see how lovely that looks now where it says beautiful days. And what I'm going to do with this one is stick it down with a bit more glue around about there, I think. I like that. What other comments have we got? Bongo Basha, you're going to visit family, have a fabulous time. Um, who else have we got? Alison, hello, new to your live. Hi, Alison, and welcome. Um, I will start to do a little recap once I've finished this demo. So if you have missed anything, don't worry, because I am actually going to talk you all through it again in just a few moments. But what I'm doing at the moment is just using the black and white collection and just making different shapes using these beautiful decorative papers. And can you see the orientations changed, but it still all matches in perfectly. That's why geometric designs on papers are fabulous because you can get that little mix and match. And again, with that little scribble scallop, I've gone sideways with it, whereas it's, ver it's vertical there, it's horizontal on this one. And then the page, my, one of my favourites, obviously it's got butterflies on it, this page. I've gone in with my scissors and I've cut the little butterflies out. Now there's nothing to stop you from going in with your distress inks and changing the colour. Or maybe go in with your coloured pencils so you could add some colour into these butterflies as well. But I'm going to keep this one nice and simple. It's just plain black and white. Add a little bit of a curve to the wings just so he's fluttering. And then a little bit of glue on the back. You might have noticed that the butterfly is my best friend when I'm crafting because it's that perfect embellishment for me. And also, if you do have a bit of an oopsie daisy, the butterfly will just cover it up. So he can go there. And then I've got this one, which I'm gonna pop here next to the beautiful days. That's gonna go there. And we'll give him a little wiggle so he's not covering up the words. And then finally, 
this little tiny fella, like so. And he can just be making his way up. So we'll just stick that down. Now that looks pretty, but add a little bit of extra interest into the center and also onto the side of that little flag I've got some little black gems so what have I done with my oh I don't know what I've done with my tweezers they were there they've disappeared they're around somewhere I'll find them in a second I'm just going to use my pokey tool there we go just to pick that up and then I can start to add some little black gems in here and they're just going to add that little bit of sparkle to the card. So as you know I love making cards using kits like this because it's you don't have to think about it it doesn't matter about the designs because they're all done you know that your papers are going to match to your coloured cardstock everything is all thought out but how about making some little mini books with this I think that would just be so special add in the extra little bits of colour so if you're making one for a wedding then maybe pick out the colour that the bride had as her main colour theme I had pink and silver when I got married because I was obsessed with everything pink but then again I was a lot younger um, now I'd probably have I don't know, orange, because orange is the colour, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, here we go. We're finished. So that is using the black and white collection. So just to recap, let's have a little recap. So those of you who just recently joined know what today is all about. Our special deal for today is... The shades of pads, we've got three different colourways. So I'm going to start off with the black and white. I'm just going to hold them up so you can have a look at them. Now, these are usually $9.99 a pad. So together, it's 20, is it $23.97 altogether for these normally. What we've done today is put them on a very special offer. So it's $7.99 for all three pads. So you've got the black option, the craft option, and then you've got the purple option. If you head over to our website, which is www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk, on there, there's a little section where it's got all of our deals from Creative Crafting World TV. You can pop on there and then pick out whichever one of these you want, or if you're going to go for all three because they all work perfectly together but in effect it's like a buy one get two free so if you haven't already joined our club whilst you're on the website have a look for club membership club membership is 10 pounds a year you're going to get a joining gift and you'll also get minimum 10 percent discount off all your orders which means that you're saving straight away. So today this is 7 99 If you are in our club, it's £7.19. Have also a look at the membership because we've recently revamped it so you have got a gem system on there. Um, also, payment options are on the website as well as you've got Klarna as an option. So if you do want to use that, then all the T's and C's are over there on the website. So as well as these, this beautiful bundle of collections that we've got here with these paper pads, let me draw your attention to a few other deals that we've got today for you. So starting off with Linda's Black Card. Now, Linda's Black Card usually is $17.99 on our website, on the Creative Crafting World TV part, £10. So 100 sheets, 200 GSM of Linda's beautiful black card is £10 today. Next on the website, you'll see that we have got the brick. So I'm just going to try and lift this up because it does wear a ton. Here we go. I need to flex my muscles for this. Look at that. Look how much you get in the brick. So this is 250 sheets of 250 GSM brilliant white card, which is smooth. So perfect for stamping on, for die cutting, for colouring in. So if you do like to stamp and colour in with pencils or with alcohol markers, it works gorgeous. You can also use it for stamping and using distressing. So 
a lot of times a smooth card when you add water to it it will start to delaminate and it goes really ugly and you don't get the, the effect you want with this you can add water to it and it stays completely stable it doesn't lose its integrity so normally 24.99 for this which is really heavy today 15 pounds and again that's on our website so next up we have got the craft lion card so you know this is my favorite this go craft card goes with absolutely everything so as well as getting that gorgeous beast on the front there you are also getting 50 sheets of 280 gsm card normally 7.99 on offer at five pounds and this is so smooth that you can stamp on it because craft card is usually quite bumpy and rough textured this isn't this is beautifully smooth so perfect for all your construction die cut it numerous times stick it together you've made yourself a little chipboard so that is our craft card and then finally we have got the woodstock so i'll give this a little wiggle Woodstock 15 colours, 225 GSM, A4 in size, three of each of these beautiful colours. And going from those brights through your neutrals, those subtle shades that are going to add that little touch of beauty to any of your projects, this would work beautifully with the black and white and also with the craft I expect. So normally Woodstock is $12.99 on our website today, is $7.99. And as I said earlier, if you are in the mood for buying some cards and envelopes, all our card and envelope packs are on the website, anything from eight by eight right through to your six by fours. Have a look on there because they're all different prices and my memory can't cope with everything. So you'll see all the details on the website. So I'm going to have a quick look through the craft pad now. So just to give you a quick reminder of what we've got. So starting off with the project pad. So this is Shades of Craft, your project pad, 8x8 in size. You've got 36 sheets, 6 designs, 6 of each. 160 GSM and this is acid and lignin free as well so if you do love making those um, memory books or your scrapbooking pages you know that um, your photos are going to be safe. Your project pad this is just perfect it takes all of that stress out of crafting you know if you've got a load of cards to make and your mojo's gone on holiday here we are it's done for you. Everything has got straight lines, so it's really, really easy to cut out. You've got all of these beautiful words with the different fonts, these gorgeous panels, and you've also got these, which anything that's got fishtail on it, I'm going to love anyway, these little fishtail banners. But you could cut these down if you wanted to. So don't forget, you can go in with your scissors or with your paper trimmer to make them smaller and thinner. You've also got all of these tags. You've got even like the little reinforcers on there, which means that just add a little hole into the center. Um, I do use my crocodile hole punch for that on the largest hole punch and it fits perfectly. So if you've got a crocodile, happy days. Then we've got the next page, which that could just be a page in a scrapbook, couldn't it? Because you've got the butterflies, you've got this lovely white area. Add a photograph in there, add a few little messages or a few little words. Here we've got happy birthday, congratulations on your special day, send in lots of love. And of course, these two panels here, again, you could stamp in them, you could make them the feature on cards. Then we've got goals, ideas to do. You've also got areas to pop photos. Then you've got the extra little bit there, which is the film strip. Then another one of these full pages with that beautiful typewriter font in the background with those lovely words, making memories, happy times. And of course the florals. Then we've got the alphas, always come in handy because then you can start to personalise things. And you've got extra borders there, you've got your numbers, and then we're back to the beginning. So that is your craft project pad. And when you order these, you're only going to be paying for one of the pads. Normally, the collective price would be $23.97. Today, on the website, is $7.99. If you've been canny and joined our club, you'll find it £7.19. So in effect, buy one, get two free. So here we've got the textured style, although it's lovely and smooth, of your craft solid paper. And then you've got the three colours in that beautiful smooth effect.
So that is a colour card. Again, 36 sheets, six colours, six of each. And then finally, the decorative papers. You've got 12 designs of these, and that means that you've got three of each. Getting good at maths today, Sheridan. And then 160 GSM, acid and lignin free. I'm not going to wiggle this about too much because I know that some of these designs do strobe a little bit. But you'll see you've got your butterflies, you've got that gorgeous soft check, the polka dots are in there, those stripes, which I'm going to try and keep as still as possible. Then you've got your florals, then those beautiful bows. More of these delightful words here. You've got that textured craft background with the white. Craft and white just looks so classy together, doesn't it? You've got those lovely tropical ferns there. You've got the scribble scallops, the speckly background, and then the animal print dots. So that is just your craft collections there straight away. Absolutely stunning. What are you waiting for? Let me have a look at who else has been talking to me. So we've got, um, who, where did I get to? So Alison had just joined us. Hi, Alison. Uh, Marie, beautiful card. Thank you, Marie. Uh, Christine, good morning and welcome. If you're new to the channel, it's nice to see some new faces. Uh, Lisa, I love using butterflies too. Yeah, I think they're the crafter's friend, aren't they? Pamela, lovely card. Thank you. Alison saying, oh, hells, you're super creative. I'll watch back the whole live. Thank you, Alison. Helen saying, ordered the black brick and craft last Friday was delivered on Tuesday. Now that is really good, isn't it, Alice, um, Helen? That's brilliant. Getting The thing is, when you order something, it's nice just to have it delivered straight away because I know that I'm like sleeping on the doormat waiting for the postman to turn up. So that's good service. Then, right, Alison says, please, Hells, can I ask, will the brick be suitable for the main card? Absolutely, yes, it will. So I've actually got some of the brick here. Let me grab a piece. Look, I will show you. I'm going to cut it down. There we go. So it's 250 GSM. So it is really, really good and thick. Let's have a rummage in here for me. But do you know what? I had a rummage in here the other day and tipped everything out, and I can never find anything. There's my bone folder. So we'll make a card. I know I'm going a little bit off paste here, but it doesn't matter, does it? So it's ten and a half centimetres. And then we'll score down. Then if I move that out of the way, fold that over. Because it's 250 GSM, you can use it. I use them for absolutely everything, but yes, the card blanks. So there you've got a perfect card blank straight away. Brilliant card. But you can also use it if you're wanting to do your shaped cards. So if you wanted to do like um, a stepper card or a fold back card, I'm just going to randomly go for it with this one. So I need that one to be um, in half would be around about there there we go and make sure that I'm getting that right so if you wanted like one of these open gate folds you can do that and then fold that one over like that and then if you haven't got a bone folder or a scoreboard you can actually just crease it like that because it's such good quality there we go so you can then have like a little card that's like that as well. So there are loads of different ways that you can use the white card, but like I said, this is the one that I go to. So Alison, I hope that that answers your question, love, because yes, you can use it for your base cards. Right then, where are we? Craft, we were doing craft, weren't we? So I think I'm gonna do another card demo for you using that lovely craft collection that I've just shown you. And if you have just joined us, I'm gonna be telling you all about these beautiful shades of pads so just to recap head on over to our website which is www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk on there there's a little tab with creative crafting world tv 
drop down into there and then there's everything that's on our show so you've got the shades of pads in the black the craft and the purple so you've got all of those options to choose from basically it's buy one get two free because normally they're 23.97 for the collection today it's 7.99 if you are one of our club members then you'll receive your discount from that so it'd be seven pound 19 have a look at the club as well because it's recently re been revamped so it's now got a gem system so I think it's the more you spend then the more gems you're going to accrue. To join the club is £10 a year. You will get a gift upon joining and then subsequently all your discounts from your orders. It's free P&P on orders over £25 so if you are having a little crafty spend today then spend more than £25 your P&P is free otherwise when you get to check out that's where your P&P will be allocated. Also all of the details on how to pay for your goods are on the website including the option to pay with Klarna. So let's do a lovely little demo and again this is another one of these cards that you know, sometimes you just think, hmm, I've got a special person in my life and I want to make a lovely card for them. So this is what we're going to do. Now, you'll see as I start to put this together that the edges look a little bit darker and that's because I've been using my Distress Ink. So I've got Ground Espresso, which is one of my absolute favourites. And I'm going to pop this together and then we'll get onto that ground espresso and I'll show you how I've used it. I am going to put my specs on so I can see what I'm doing. Because I'm getting old and everything is now too close. I just layer that one on there. So this is the lighter of the textured craft. And then I've gone in with that darker one. And again, can you see how I've just gone in around there just to make that shaded so because these are all uncoated papers so if you do want to add any of your stamps to it if you do want to bring inks in then you can do because the paper's uncoated although it's got that beautiful soft finish now i've got this piece and again i've gone around the edge with this with my ink just to give it that little extra effect I'm going to stick that one on there and then inking is really really easy so if you haven't got any distress inks and you're thinking mm, quite like the look of those we also have distress inks on our website don't you know so you can go and have a little look on there you'll be able to see what we've got but this one all I'm going to do is just I've got some cut and dry foam I'm just going to blend around the edge can you see how that's really starting just to give that a little bit of a frame I do like using a little bit of ink on the papers and of course you've got that bonus there because they are uncoated the ink will go on there. So now I'm just going to add some tape to the back of this and then we'll get this one stuck down. So this is a similar premise to the one that I made earlier in the black and the white where I've got that overlap. So I've made a little overlap to sit on there as well. So we'll just add some of those lovely papers. This is that again, it's that scribble scallop. I do like that design. And some of that lovely lighter shade of the craft page. We're gonna go in with the tape like that and place that one on there like so I've just added a little bit of tape where it shouldn't go you didn't see that did you and then one of the, you know one of the pages that we've got in the project pad this is one of those so all I've done is just gone in with the ink around the edge just to add that little bit of extra something of course if you've got I know loads of you will have beautiful sentiment stamps that you want to use stamp a sentiment into the middle there would just look absolutely beautiful wouldn't it and then again I've just added some more of that lovely solid craft paper I'm going to pop that one over there like that so you can see how these layer together gorgeous as well this floral here is the floral that I've got in that background so it's just so cool isn't it so we've got happy birthday and I think that that deserves a little bit of 3d foam so I've got some 3d foam here which I'm just going to cut down And then I'm going to cut it down again. So we'll 
add that one on there, one there, and then one there, and peel off the backing. So this is gonna add that little bit of extra dimension. So it says, happy birthday, I like that. And then I've got some butterflies, which again, I've gone around the edge there with the ink just to give them that finish. And then we've got lovely, but we need someone to send it to, don't we? So we've then got this page here. So you've got mum, dad, brother, best friend, sister, in-law, wife. And because they're all straight lines, they're really easy to cut as well. So for this one, I've got my paper trimmer. You can use scissors. If you've got a steady hand, you could use scissors. Um, but I always end up tending to go a little bit wonky. So paper trimmer is the best way for me because otherwise it'll be off on a tangent. And sometimes, especially when there's words involved, if you, if you cut or stamp wonky, it really stands out. So, but for this one, we're going to say lovely husband. And then I'll add just around the edge some of the ink. And that just gives that that little frame as well. Then I have got some tape. There we go. And I want to use that bit on there. So now it says lovely husband. There we are. Let's stick that one down. Like so. Now I have got one of those gorgeous little butterflies and I've got full butterflies but I want the butterfly just looking like it's coming for a little rest here. So what you can do with the whole butterfly is actually cut into the middle. Don't worry it doesn't hurt him. It just means that his wings are more closed than flapping about in midair. He's actually having a little breather. And we'll give that a little wiggle around. And then again, just go in with the ink. And the trick for when you're cutting out little things like that is actually wiggle the paper rather than trying to wiggle the scissors. Because when you try and wiggle the scissors, you end up actually making it more difficult for yourself. So move the paper and just open and close the scissors. But there we've got our little butterfly is just having a little rest there. And then of course, we have got some more of these. So again, that's from that beautiful decorative butterfly page. And we'll just add some of these now. I've just looked up and I've seen the time. <laughs> I've been waffling on for so long. I think I need to get a wiggle on, don't I? Because otherwise we'll be tipping over the edge of midday. So let's just add a few more of these like so there we go so that is using the craft option of our beautiful shades of pads so just to recap these are usually 23 pound 97 they are 7.99 for all three pads today um, so just grab yourself a little crafty bargain let's have a look at some of the comments who've we got alison um Thank you, as I'd like to design and print cards. Yes, you can do that. Elaine, I ordered a USB and other stuff from you directly on Tuesday and it's arrived this morning. Thank you, Elaine, that's fabulous, isn't it? Um, and then Kevin's actually replying and gone all scan and cut and technical. So I'm, I'm just not gonna go technical. But yes, you can use that card for die cutting, scan and cut, printing. My printer takes 250 GSM doesn't have any problem with it so and the card I'm talking about if you've just joined us is the brick okay so thank you again for joining me I'm Hells by the way in case I did I introduce myself probably not I always forget. Um, you are watching Creative Crafting World TV and I'm here now for the next 12 minutes and I want to get another demo in so I'm going to be really quick and tell you about the purple collection. So purple, exactly the same designs as we've got in the craft and the black and white. So it's same designs but just in the purple. 
So you can see, I'm just gonna do a really quick flick through here. You've got those gorgeous lilacs and mauves, all the tones of purple that you could wish for. So that's your project pad, 36 sheets, six designs, six of each in there. Then you can see the colors that you're getting in here. You've got six colors, six of each, acid and lignin free, perfect for card making, scrapbooking for your little memory books, mini books. And then you've got your decorative papers. Here are your decorative papers. You've got 12 designs, three of each, and again, eight by eight in size, 160 GSM. Normally, 23 pounds and 97 pence for the three. Today, they're 7.99. And again, if you're in our club, then you will be entitled to your club discount off that. So it brings it down to seven pounds and 19 pence. Also, just a quick reminder on the website, if you have a look at our website, you'll see that there's a little tab that says Creative Crafting World TV. On there are all of our offers today, so the shades of pads. You've also got the black card from Linda Chapman, black card. You've got the brick, which is our 250 GSM, 250 sheets of white card. You've got the craft and you've also got wood stock on there as well, all at fabulous bargain prices. Okay, so I think we have got time for one quick demo. If I get a little wriggle on, because I want to show you this one, because this is the purple pack that I've used. So this is a little bit of everything on here. And what I've done, again, I've taken one of our lovely card blanks and I'll show you what I've done to it. So this is the um, 7x5 size in the card blank. And can you see I've cut the front off? So I've cut it down in size. Two reasons. One, because I want to show off what's on the inside of the card, but also I wanted that size because of the size of this which is one of those lovely panels that we've got that you can add things to so sometimes i like to add ink sometimes i like to remove ink and to remove ink is really simple this is a nail file just rub it along the edge keep going all the way along the edge and that actually removes some of the ink off there so you get that beautiful vintage effect so because i'm using this as an insert i'm just going to put one lot of tape across the top and then stick that one down in there like so so it's loose leaf and that I always think that looks quite classy when it's loose leaf like that the other thing that I've got is one of the sentiments that's on one of the tags I've actually cut that down so it just says just for you and again a little bit of tape in place and I'm just going to make sure that that's not going to be poking out of the side when I close that so you can't see it at all. The other thing I've got is one of those lovely banners which I'm going to place there and again I'm going to keep this one loose leaf as well so just a little bit of tape across the top and then another one of those banners I've actually cut it down let me just grab it so I can you can actually see what I'm waffling on about there we go I've got the page so that's that one and then remember what I said you can cut them down just take your scissors or your paper trimmer in and cut it down and that's the just for you I've cut that off so it's just a little rectangle of a sentiment so you can see all the different ways that you can use these gorgeous pads and again a little bit of glue and that's going to go on there now what I wanted to do is show you how you can do this and make these nice and scruffy so on that solid card you can probably actually see how it's revealed that white edge so I just wanted to show you a few different things so I've shown you the ink I've shown you just using it straight and then sanding it back as well but of course I'm sure that you're going to find loads of different ways of using it yourselves and because it is uncoated as well you can always stamp on it if you want to so have I got any more comments who've we got uh, Pamela, yeah, thank you, Pamela. Yes, it does go really quickly, doesn't it? Brenda, thank you also, Brenda. She's saying a great hour. Thank you. And Kirsty looks fabulous. Thank you very much. Right. Butterfly paper. I know you were all waiting for me to use it, weren't you? Because you know how much I love my butterflies. So here we've got those lovely butterflies, which I'm going to stick down. 
on there like that. So can you see now why I've cut out that front section? Because I'm, at, you know, more is more, isn't it, when we're making cards? It means you could just add all of those gorgeous things to it. I'm going to stick that one down on there like so. And then one of our butterfly borders, which is this one. Again, I've just cut that one down so it fits across there. And I'm going to pop a little bit of tape either side just to stick that down. Now you could, if you wanted to, have that so you could fit something to go in it. That'd look really nice, wouldn't it? So it could be a lift out. So think of all the different things you can do. And then, as I said, I used my cropper dial to punch holes. And then I can just stick that one down. So add a little bit of tape on there. And give that a little layer up. Like that. And then we'll just add a bit of tape to the back there. And actually, I could tuck that in, couldn't I? Here we go. So that's just in there. And then some of the little butterflies, which I've cut out. And again, I've sanded these. And then finally, I wanted to add some words. So what I've done here is I've cut down this one. So I'm gonna go in with my scissors. This says, cousin baby, lovely, but I only want it to say love. So what I can do is cut that down. So it just says love, because there's enough room in between the letters to do that. And then just give that a quick sand so it matches in with the rest of the card. And again, you can see just a nail file just to go in around there. And then a little bit of tape to hold that in place. And I want to just give that a little wiggle under there just so it looks like it's a little tab poking out the bottom. And we'll straighten that up, stick that down. And then this one, it says sending lots of love. Well, I don't want all of that. All I want is the love. The word that says love so what i do is i'll go in like that normally i'd use my paper trimmer but i know that that clock is ticking so forgive me because this is going to be a little bit wonky they always say look where you're going not where you've been don't they but i don't think that works either so like when i'm cutting out fabric i have to use a rotary trimmer because otherwise it always ends up a little bit skew if i'm sure i'm not the only one and then just a little bit of glue, which we can add there. So you can see how versatile these pads are because you've got all of these different options for using the words, for using the papers to make decorative butterflies. He is going to go up there like that. And then this little one, tiny, tiny one, is gonna go there over that little hole and sit there and then of course add a little bit of bling so I've got these gorgeous little gems which are actually the perfect colours I don't know how on earth I managed to find these because normally they never actually match do they but this is a strike of a stroke of luck should I say we'll pop that one on there and there so that is the purple option demo. So I've managed to get all the demos done. So just a recap of the demos that I've done. So there's your purple and there is, oh, we'll do it that way. Thank you, Anch. I'm not here on my own, by the way. If you think I'm being dead clever and operating cameras and stuff, our lovely Anch is with me. Um, she does all the technical stuff because she knows that I can't do that. And then we've got the black and white option. So today we have had our shades of pads in black and white, in craft and in the purple. And I know that all of you will have been absolutely loving these and having a little crafty spend. Um, again, if you buy one, if you buy the collection, it's $7.99, which is actually just the price of one. So it'd be a case of buy one, get two free which is fabulous, isn't it? Don't forget to hit subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, that's just hit subscribe, there's a little bell icon next to it. If you tap that, that actually means that you'll get a reminder when we're about to go live as well, so you won't miss anything. So for the last minute or so, let's just have a look. Have we got any more comments? Um, 
no we haven't had any more in oh well thank you everybody for joining me anyway and before i go it'd be remiss of me not to remind you to tune into crate and craft tonight at eight o'clock because our linda has got a brand new cutting files usb for you she's got the weekender so linda's on tonight at eight and tomorrow at seven and then kellyanne's going to be joining her and bringing you the rest of the shows for the weekend so if you do like your cutting files don't miss out on that in the meantime, I'm going to love you and leave you and say thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to head on to the website www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. Have a look on there for our club membership so you can read all about it and join the club. And also all of the deals that we've had on the show today will actually be there on the website for you to purchase as well. Um, thank you so much. I'm back on Wednesday, but it's actually going to be Tuesdays with Hells because we're on a little bit later. So 2 p.m. Wednesday. I hope to see you there.